All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 is equal to 4. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x to the power of 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to rewrite x to the power of 4 here as x to the power of 2 times 2. Now I have this minus 4, which is the same thing as 2 squared, is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, I can rewrite as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 2 squared is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is 2. So now I have x squared plus 2 times x squared minus 2 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I get x squared plus 2 is equal to 0, and I get x squared minus 2 is equal to 0. So for x squared plus 2 equals 0, I can subtract 2 on both sides. So I get x squared is equal to negative 2. And then I can take the square root on both sides because I want to cancel out this power. So if I take the square root on both sides, the square root of x squared is simply x. So I get x is equal to positive or negative square root of negative 2. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 2, I can rewrite that as the square root of 2 times the square root of negative 1. And the square root of negative 1, this is actually equal to the imagined number i. So I get x is equal to positive or negative square root of 2 i. Now for this, I have x squared minus 2 equals 0. I can add 2 on both sides. These two cancel out. And I get x squared is equal to 2. Now if I take the square root on both sides, I get x is equal to positive or negative square root of 2. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 8 to the power of x. So I'm going to first start by rewriting 4 as 2 squared and 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of x plus 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x. Now I can actually switch the places of these two exponents. So now I get 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x to the power of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x to the power of 3. Now I can let 2 to the power of x equal to the variable u. So now if I replace 2 to the power of x with u, I get u plus u squared is equal to u to the power of 3. And now if I subtract u squared and u on both sides, I get u to the power of 3 minus u squared minus u is equal to 0. Now I'm going to factor out u, so I get u times u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. And this gives me two equations. I get u is equal to 0, and I get u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. So as you see, we already have one solution of u. So now to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So I have u is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 all over 2 times 1. And this is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus, or sorry, plus 4 
over 2. And this is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So these are two more solutions. So now remember how we let 2 to the power of x equal to u. So let's first start with u equaling 0. So we have 2 to the power of x equals 0. And there's actually no solution to this because you can't take the power of a number and make it equal 0. So now we have u is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. And 1 minus the square root of 5, that's going to be a negative number. And negative number divided by 2 is a negative number. And you can't take the power of a positive number and make it a negative number. So this is wrong as well. So finally, I have u is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And for this, I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. I can take the log on both sides. So I get log 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So I can move this to the front, and I get x times log 2 is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So if I divide both sides by log 2, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 log 2. Alright, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 2016. So, just at first glance from this problem, I can already tell that x is greater than y because we have 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of y equals 2016. And if x were less than y, then this would result in a negative number. But it, because it results in a positive number, we know that x is going to be greater than y. So this means that we can say that x is equal to y plus some constant k. So now, if I replace x with y plus k, I get 2 to the power of y plus k minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 2016. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of y plus k, that's going to equal 2 to the power of y times 2 to the power of k. Now I have this minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 2016. Now, I can factor out 2 to the power of y. So I have 2 to the power of y times 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 2016. Now, I can rewrite 2016 as 32 times 63. And now notice that I have an even number times an odd number. And over here, I have an even number, 2 to the power of any number is even, and I have an odd number, 2 to the power of any number is even, and an even number minus 1 is going to be an odd number. So, meaning these two are equal to each other, and these two are equal to each other. So, I have 2 to the power of y is equal to 32, and 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 64. Or sorry. 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 63. So, let's first... Start with 2 to the power of y equals 32. So we have 2 to the power of y is equal to 32. And 32, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 5. So I have 2 to the power of y is equal to 2 to the power of 5, meaning y is equal to 5. Now, for 2 to the power of k minus 1 equals 63, I'm going to first start by adding 1 on both sides, so these two cancel out. So now I have 2 to the power of k is equal to 64. 64, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 6, meaning k is equal to 6. Now remember, x is equal to y plus k, so x is equal to 5 plus 6, meaning x equals 11.